You know, I wonder what it's like living up here. I imagine the residents have to be on cloud nine. <laughs> Anyways, let's go up the cloud stairs. And whoa! If it isn't the boss of the chapter! <sighs> Finally out of flower fields. Welcome back. Last time, flower fields. This time, something better. You completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields and clouds. You see, I was gonna turn this sunlight blasted place into a cloud-covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. I must tell you, King Bowser ordered me to defeat you if you showed your face. But I'd take you down even if it weren't a direct order. You cloud-destroying pest! You can't save the Star Spirit! <laughs> Here comes the storm! Oh my god, he has circles for arms! Well, let's just start smacking him. And his boss fight music's pretty good. It's no tub of lubba, but definitely ain't bad. Let's see how much this combo continues to do. I mean, how much? That's 17. He has no defense. Huff and Puff's gimmick. If I am remembering correctly... Uh, Master Puff and Puff, I wish to pummel Mario too. Permission to attack? Yes, take him! The more you hit him, the more these little guys pop out. And if you're fast enough, you can take, like, no damage. Unfortunately, I was not fast enough. And that's the gimmick here. For every bit of damage you do, he'll Huff and Puff McDickbag will just get more clouds. Let's see. So far, I've done 30 damage total. I think he has 50 health? Don't think you're gonna get the drop on me. Fuck, okay, they got the drop on me. Now, is he gonna do an attack? Oh, fuck. No, 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 Pulling out all the stops here. Oh no! How am I ever going to deal with all those clouds? I don't remember the... That shooting star I got should be more than helpful. And you'll notice that Huff and Puff is getting smaller as the fight goes on. Because he's low on health. And now he is eating even more of his... Spawns? Ch children? What the fuck are they? I, I don't know. Anyways. We she should be nearly dead. I don't remember how much health he has. But it shouldn't be too much more. Fuck, I, I flubbed up at the end there. We seem to be in trouble. Hmm. I guess I'd better stop messing around and fight hard. Will you be alright, Master? We're not finished yet. Here I come! Oh god. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure... A fan smack... Should finish him off here. Yep. There we go. That was the boss. I was able to beat him through the power of items rather than actual skill. And there he goes.
That fight would have been much harder if I didn't have those shooting stars. Much harder. Well, there it is. The next star spirit. Gimme. And here we go. He has a little briefcase. I think that's a briefcase. Oh, it's a book. It's a little book. He's smart. So it is that Mario and Party defeated Cruel Cloud Huffinpuff and set free the sixth star spirit. The thick clouds that once cast dark shadows have gone, and Flower Fields is bathed in sunshine again. A single star spirit waits to be rescued. Woo! We are done with chapter six. And we'll never have to fuck with it again. But I do gotta fuck with Peach again. That is something I have to do. Hey, Twink. You know the sneaky parasol I got on that quiz show? Hey, my buddy John's playing Pokemon. I can change into someone else when I use it, right? So don't think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. I have a weapon. Oh, you guys are fucked. Princess Peach is going to go on a rampage. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, this one isn't too complicated. In fact, it's quite simple. But first... Oh. I am now a Koopa Patrol! Woo! And this, this isn't where I have to go. Yeah, that's not where I want to go. What I want to go is right here. Yes. This is something I've been ignoring. Well, not really ignoring, I just haven't cared enough to do it. Oh, look there, what a beautifully crafted treasure chest. Yeah, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious. A mysterious treasure chest. That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Where is it? You know, I can't remember. Basically, you put things in here... And Mario can get them... Back when Mario is doing Mario things. Yeah. So, uh... Hmm. What we need to do is we need to go up here. On patrol? Very good, then. You can pass through. Woo! And then we go up to here, and then we go up the magic stairs, and we need to backwards long jump in order to break in. And no, sadly, that's not how this works. Where's my relief already? My shit has been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here? Please? I'm exhausted. He looks like this. He's probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Yep. That's all we gotta do. We gotta go up there, grab the key, go down, become the clubba, and then walk through that door. What? You're wondering why I'm quiet? Not really much going on. I'm kind of just walking. What do you think I am? A comedian? Can't have something funny to say all the time. Sometimes I just walk in silence. You know? Me, myself, and I. And Twink. Really? Are you not going to question why I have the star? No, it's, it's... Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Doing that fake snore. Oh, that, that, that made me cough up. Hey there, buckaroo. I am now Clubba. Yes. Don't mind me. I'm just a Clubba. The only Clubba in the castle, apparently. 
Yeah, what? Why do you have all of these fucking armored Koopas, and then just one Clubba? Just the one. On patrol, very good. Like, that seems weird. What makes him so special? This is like the Clubba of all Clubbas, the Clubinator, if you will. Finally, about time. You're so late. Again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time, but watch it, okay? Have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off, either. You're on thin ice, buddy. Oh, fuck you too, buddy. I can be late if I want. I can do what I want. Sneaking around. Really, Bowser? You haven't fixed this window? You threw Mario out of there like six chapters ago, and you haven't fixed the window? Come on! If you're gonna take over someone's castle, at least treat it nicely. Dum de dum 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 do. Then up to here, and then over here. And opening up this place right here. Walking on by, making my way downtown, walking fast. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all the star spirits, we'll still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely. Affirmative. You're right, Candy Koopa. Hmm. You there. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good... Wait, something's weird about you. You smell... Too nice. Yeah. Uh-oh. You, my you little... Princess Peach! Unbelievable! Out again! Guards! All of you! Catch this little runaway and take her back to her room! No! I, I like- you still haven't figured out how she keeps getting out. You haven't- you haven't put down any- Oh, there's Lakalulu. Oh, I thought she never showed up again. Puff and Puff is gone, so the flowers and flower fields bloom peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, Flower Fields would have never seen the light again. Now there's only one of us star spirits still trapped, Mario. Just one more. Please, use my power as you continue to fight. Mario's star energy goes up to six. Mario can now use timeout. Woo! Now you are able to use the power of six star spirits. If you use mine as well, it should prove extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident, though. You must be careful. Bowser's a fucking badass bitch and his meat is huge. You are nothing. Okay, goodbye, book guy. The Clevlar was your name or something? I don't know. Congratulations, young Mario. You saved the star spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long so I could meet a man of your stature. I will never willingly come back here again, you fucking oak. He acts like he's tough, but he's really a pushover. Yeah, I need to go back to Toad Town and never look back. Ever. Alright. So, I don't quite remember how Chapter 8 starts. Merlin. Oh, you came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Oh, I went to Merlin to... Like, ask him what to do? This... This is where you have to go. You have to go to Merlin, and you can start the events of Chapter 8. Or, 7, excuse me. I, uh... I forgot about that. And he opens the door. That I, I couldn't get into last episode. I accidentally found progress. But I'm not actually going to progress yet. Because there are some things I want to do first. Some things I've been neglecting. Even now, I still take fly- you, what, you, what you're saying isn't important. The fact that I have a letter for you is what's important. Another letter dully received. The postman's job is never done. 
Oh, it's from Mr. Goompapa. That old codger. We think alike, he and I. It's been ages since I saw him. Too long, indeed. This reminds me. I'm just thinking about sending a letter to one of my other friends. Your timing is perfect. Coover, and he lives in Koopa Village. Yep. That's where I gotta go to next. That is a huge chainmail side quest. And the reward is the best badge in the game. Arguably, it's a pretty damn fucking good badge. But speaking of badges, let's go to that chest, shall we? There it is! We get Power Rush. We get Deep Focus again, those stacks. So though I already have one Deep Focus equipped, I can get two Deep Focuses. And some Jam and Jelly. And we go up here, and let me try to spend some of my star points. Star pieces, star points, what the fuck? And what badges might you have for me? I have 25, holy hell. I can get another power plus if I really wanted it, and that does stack. Or I could get a bunch of more useless badges. Well, Pretty Lucky's a pretty good badge. It costs a whole level up to use it. But it is pretty good. Zap Tap is also pretty nice. Though it does cost four fucking badge points to use. Here's the thing, there are so many badges it can be difficult figuring out which ones you want to use. Feeling fine isn't as helpful, but I mean, it's a badge. And the other ones I can just buy while I'm here. I think pretty like pretty lucky is the one that I'm gonna want. It just gives you a flat evasion rate. Like, there will just be enemies that just they'll miss you sometimes. And it's pretty good. Okay. So while we're, let, we're gonna be doing part of this big old chain side quest. The reason I've been ignoring the chain side mail side quest for so long is because Shiver City, the place I'm going to next, has one of the people on it. So there really hasn't been much of a point to going around getting a bunch of fucking letters right now. So let's go take care of that. I think the Tow Town Pipe to Koopa Village might be faster? I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. Well, that wasn't very good of me. Well, come, Paracary! These Goombas are scary. Downright horrifying. Yep. And then we can, yeah, and then we'll just go to Koopa Village from here. Yep. Hey, okay. This was definitely faster. Thanks to the power of the spin jump! Whee! Yahoo! Yeah! Woo! I believe this is Coover? You're Coover, correct? Yep. A postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks! You came at a good time. I was going to spend a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? It's a letter from Must Tea. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. And to think, I was just about to send a letter to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once we have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Must T. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It's to a friend of mine who's always fishing at Toad Town Port. He's pretty easy to find. Fishmael. Which, I gotta admit, that's a pretty funny pun on Ishmael. Colorado, you're back! So stay here for a change. Have I just been enough of sitting around worrying and waiting for you to return? Hmm? Ah, yes, of course. Well, <clears throat> Psst, to tell the truth, old bean, I'm itching to search for the lost palace in the north. But tut tut, mum's the word as far as the wife is concerned. Yeah, Coover, Colorado, spend time with your wife. And come on. This is, yeah, you, I need to talk to you too. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Koop. Say, why'd you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so- Fucking boomer. Did you borrow the Koopa Legends book from Colorado? Right. 
This Kubaku also has a series of side quests. This is the side quest episode. My husband came home. It's nice to have him home, I can't even tell you. What a difficult man, but I still love him. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder, are you? Koopa Legends. Of course you can borrow it. Yeah. You know, your husband's right there. You, we could have just asked him for the book. Instead, we're just taking his property when he's right there. Hmm. Burmish? It's an exercise book. Or no, it's just a book of weird legends. Whatever the fuck it is, take it, old man. Alright, to show my gratitude... One coin. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a point to all this. Sleepy Sheep. I think I have a Sleepy Sheep. Yeah, I just happened to have one. That wasn't intentional. I just got lucky. For one coin. Yep, this is what you get. Alright. The silver credit. Yeah, that's that's for um mini games. I, I, I don't know what the fuck else does he want. Because you couldn't go, the grandfather? He still has a tape I lent him a while back. If you say the tape, he'll know what you're talking about. Try and keep this whole thing under wraps, would you? Okay. So that's in it for that. Now we need to get back to Toad Town. Is the pipe faster? I don't actually know. Oh, the pipe would have been way faster. Huh. Well. Whatever, we're gonna go see Fish My Elf. We'll worry about the tape later. It's not important right now. Woo! Yeah! Okay. So we go on, and we need to talk to you. I... I... I don't think he's a creature that's ever seen anywhere else. I can't think, because, you know, everyone's a Mario creature. You know, Toad, Koopa, all that. I don't know what the fuck Fishmael is. I don't think he is. Well, I think he's an original thing. Yep, and now I gotta go talk to Coover. Again. And there's also this. I believe I have to talk to you? I'm Simon. I'm Ryman. To folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor Pop Deaver cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, our Pop Diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck, though, because my last line's a no-show. Later, Pluminator. What the fuck? Who do I need to talk to? Yeah, your note's a masterpiece. I need to... Talk to you? Hmm. No, do I need to talk to you? This is a side quest as well. Okay, no. You need to talk to a composer to get a music so that you can finish that up. It's a really weird short side quest that doesn't amount to much of anything. It gets you a throwaway badge. But hey, I'm a collector. Alright. So let me show you a neat little trick I learned. What you need to do is you hit this tree to make a pipe appear. So you want to hit the tree. Or is it around here? No, where is it? Hold on. This is neat. Boom. You notice how the tree was hit? So... For some reason, the hitbox for hitting a tree with your hammer and blowing up the tree with Bombette is different. And due to a programming error, the hitbox for the bomb of this tree is over here. Rather than over there. Why is it like that? Who knows. But this is where we use the card that the old Koopa gave us. And we can play Jump Attack. I don't remember what this minigame is, but it's a minigame. Greetings, my good man. This is the floor for Jump Attack. Give me a second and I'll explain the rules to you. Eleven blocks will appear in the air. Four kinds of panel. Okay, this is just luck. Right. 
This is just straight up luck. Fuck, I actually only did the cheapest option. But that's fine. Woo! Money! 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 I made nine coins. There we go. That... That's all that there is. Now... That's it. That's just gambling. It's how you can get a lot of coins. As you've been able to tell by the fact that I've had like 500 million coins this entire time, uh, you don't really need money. But the game... You know what you do need money for? Ralph's Bad Shop. Maybe Ralph has something for me. Damage dodge. Group focus. That's a pretty decent badge. It lets your part it lets your background member use focus as well. Which is helpful. And it might not be like the most helpful thing in the world, but. Oh wait, that was a damage dodge. Wait, I should have bought that one. That one should stack with. Hmm, yeah. Well, I'm dumb. That's okay. This is a side quest episode. We started this episode with progress, and now we're just gonna be taking care of a bunch of things that I've been ignoring this entire time. Like how over here... Right? I believe this is the way... Yeah, and then I go over here... Right? No, it's not this way. Shit. There's a power block over here that I'm missing. I think. I'm just trying to find it. Because these tunnels are very wide and expansive. There it is. Yep. And with this, I can power up... What? Who is next on the chopping block? You want to upgrade this member? Yes, I do. Congratulations, Watt. You now do five damage and then do some other shit I don't care about. Alright. Now it's time. I guess we can go back to Goomba Village and get the tape. Which, you know, is an item. I do not remember what doing Koopa Koot side quest does. I think it gets you the other minigame card? I don't remember, though. Hello there, Goom Father. Hey there, old man. Mario, how have you been? You must have traveled all over the Mushroom Kingdom by now. Is Goombario pulling his weight? Hmm? Mario, it looks like something else is on your mind. What? Koopa Koot said he wants the tape. That? That old Koopa. How does he remember things from so long ago? Okay, wait just a minute. I'll bring it out for you. Go on. Behind a chair. You know, where everyone keeps their tapes. Here, this is it. When you see that old Koopa, give him my regards. You got the tape. What's that? You wanna know what's on the tape? Do you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't tell you at the moment. It was great, though. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain the joke behind what's on the tape. If you're wondering why I'm saying it like that, Chugger Conroy corrupts my brain. I don't have original thoughts, I just quote more successful YouTubers than me, like Game Grumps and Chugger Conroy. Here you go, have the tape. Suffering Shy Guys! Mario, you're a real gent. Did Goompa complain? <laughs> Take this as a gesture of my eternal gratitude. One coin. <laughs> What's his next favor? I've got a hanger with some Koopa tea. Right, I need to cook things. That's something that I can't possibly have right now. Because I need to shake this bush? Yes. And then I need to cook it. And that's another side quest, but that should get me the gold card? Which lets me play another gambling game. Alright, it's been a while since I've been shopping in Toad Town. Yeah, yeah, give him the other letter. Another letter, dully delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, thanks. Cool. It's for my pal. This must be the answer to my last letter. Now, this has to go to... 
Mr. E, who lives in the desert. Yep. That's more side quests. Oh, man. All these side quests sure are taking a while. Oh, well. We've got all the time in the world. Nothing's going to stop us from finishing these side quests. Not even the end. Hey, I have a Patreon, and if you want to give me money and help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Link's in the description. I also have a Discord server, so you can be cool there too. Alright, time for the end of the episode, meme. I know that's why you're here.